I love working with pregnant women and babies. Again, from my own experience as a mother, I know what pregnancy does to change the body and how difficult it can be if the body is not a good receptacle and also how much that changes the, ne the developing neurology of the baby inside and it affects the birth process which affects the baby's neurological development and immunity so to me to create a, a healthy whole happy human being it starts even before the mother gets pregnant that would be the idea come get adjusted before you even consider being pregnant and then everything flows much much smoother Sadie is 10 months old and we've had care from Dr. Liz for 10 months now <laughs> and before she did all my prenatal care and um, she's healthy and wonderful and I feel like the chiropractic definitely helped prepare my body, realign and adjust to everything so that, you know, I was able to have a natural birth. You know, going through the birth canal, she needed to have everything checked out and her spine, you know, readjusting and everything. And people say, a baby's just born. They haven't had any accidents. Why would a baby even need to be checked? Well, when you study how a baby's born and what happens to the cranium and the forces that are on the spine just in a natural birth and then you add to that well this there was a problem with the mother's body so the baby's head got stuck or the labor was long or the labor was too fast um, or they were given Pitocin which makes the contractions much harder and increases the forces on the baby's skull and spine and when you study how the skull is put together those little tiny bones are all put together like gears, they fit like puzzle pieces, they're called sutures. The soft spot in the top of the head is designed so that the skull bones can collapse. You know, it'll fold up like an umbrella and the front and the back go together. It's a, an amazing process. But if the forces are not in the natural way, then the umbrella doesn't open up all the way. Maybe it'll open up on one side but not on the other. And the baby's head may appear normal at birth, but deep inside the skull, where the bones fit together, especially at the part that forms the bottom of the skull, or the foramen magnum, that's where the, the brainal cord comes through as the brain stem and then the spinal cord, that if those parts get jammed or stuck or interfered with in some way, then as the baby's head grows, and it grows I think another 50% in the first year, the head may grow on one side, but it can't grow on the other. So then the distortion will show up within six weeks. It may not show up in the first week or two. You know, you take the baby back to the doctor after a couple of weeks or what the typical exam period is, and they look fine. But perhaps that baby had problems latching on to nurse. Maybe they preferred one side than the other. Um, so many things can show up as a result of the birth trauma that people don't understand how easy it is to correct it. So Griffin is three and a half now and has never had an ear infection. I mean, he's definitely had illnesses, but um, never had an ear infection, and I attribute that to um, regular body work and chiropractic care. I think that um, regular body work just helps uh, our kids' bodies defend themselves. I notice my kids having an awareness of their bodies that um, that I don't see in all kids. Um, Cedar and Griffin can tell us when something is aching or hurting or not quite right or out of balance before it does turn into something. And so if they are complaining of a sore back or sore neck, we come in because that could be the start of a cold or a flu or something. And frankly, I don't think I'll ever consciously go back to, to a non-network chiropractor. I find that it's so gentle, and when I'm describing it to someone, if I'm making a referral and describing it to someone, I always say, oh, it's not the kind of chiropractic where they like, you know, crack your bones and, and out you go. I said it's, they address the whole body and it affects the nervous system in a way that um, brings more complete healing in my experience and it's again so gentle for the kids where 
they just lay there for 20 minutes like a rest time and they're you know just really calm and peaceful about it and they look forward to the sessions and like Cedar said they're a little tickly but there's never any other discomfort or any fear that the kids have around have, um, being adjusted.